Hello and once again welcome to Fame Ebong TV and today I want to be showing you guys how to make a laundry bath soap with soda ash. Soda ash is just an additive. In soap making we have several types of additives but soda ash is just one of them. It is optional. It is not by force. Like I have said I have been saying several times Okay, if you look at this uh, screen, you'll see a short formula on how to formulate or get your own measurement of soda ash. So you can always use that formula displayed on the screen. It's a very easy formula to use. Okay, so as I've been saying several times, soap is can, can be literally made with water, oil and caustic soda. Any other ingredient that comes in are termed as additives. So in this video, I want to show you how to use one of those type of additive and which is soda ash to make soap i want to show you how to prepare your soda ash alongside your caustic soda so first of all you will dissolve the soda ash you dissolve your soda ash first after you've taken your measurement of your water your caustic soda your oil and every unnecessary thing you make sure you dissolve your your soda ash first. The water you want to use in dissolving your caustic soda, dissolve your soda ash in that water first and make sure your soda ash has completely dissolved. If it doesn't dissolve completely, don't add your caustic soda into that same water. So I'm going to use the same water to dissolve my soda ash and my caustic soda. But first of all, I will dissolve the soda ash. After the soda ash has completely dissolved i will now add my caustic soda into that same water so this is just a simple way on how to prepare your caustic soda and your soda ash because most people usually have difficulties on how to prepare the both of them but this is just an easy method and when you mix them together the water usually turns white but there is no problem you can it is still okay for soap making so now you can see my soda ash has completely dissolved. So now next I'm adding my caustic soda into that same water. So I'll now stay. So don't forget, first of all, dissolve your soda ash. After, after your soda ash has completely dissolved, add your caustic soda into the same water and dissolve it. If you observe, the water will turn white can see it's looking white now that doesn't mean there is an issue it's just a chemical reaction between caustic soda and soda ash so if you notice the your uh, water becoming white in color don't think there's a pro there is no problem so what i want to do next is i want to keep this solution to cool down because caustic soda usually has a way of becoming very hot when exposed to water so I'll keep it aside for it to cool down and this is my palm kernel oil I'll be using I'll also mix it with granite oil so that my production will not get to a thick trace okay so now the purpose of adding soda ash to your soap soda ash does two things to your soap it helps your soap to be very hard that's number one then number two it increases the cleansing power of your soap implying that it helps your soap to be to clean or remove stains from clothes or anything you're using to wash it increases the cleansing power of your soap it does two things it makes your soap very hard and also increases the cleansing power of your soap this is just an easy method or an easy way in using soda ash when making soap just dissolve it with your caustic soda it's as simple as this.